Most Americans care more about sports than politics. And this makes sense, because at a football or basketball game, there's a lot of fast-paced action and cheering crowds. Conversely, at a political campaign or rally, there is usually just a fat, old, smelly, sweaty, ugly man in a suit speaking in gibberish that, quite frankly, nobody cares about or wants to listen to. But if you are one such politician victimized by this, whether you're a congressional, senatorial, or presidential candidate, and you're lacking in poll statistics, and you need to somehow infuse energy into your campaign, what do you do? Who do you call? Well, you give a ring to a company called Crowds On Demand. It was founded in 2012, and according to its website, it sends masses of people to any given event to then pose as supporters for the person in question. You really just have will have all the trappings of being a real celebrity. Now, this service has been utilized by multiple politicians, both Republican and Democrat. And what's the takeaway from this? Well, if anything, it shows that the two-party system is now on its deathbed. We've seen recently with the announcement of Jeb Bush and Hillary Clinton for presidential candidacy in 2016 that nobody really wants these dynasties to have tenure in the White House any longer. And speaking of Hillary Clinton as well, this company, Crowds On Demand, also specializes in diversity. Now, Hillary Clinton is a supporter of open immigration policy. So what she could do is actually call up this company and ask for Hispanic supporters to ultimately establish credibility for her. Now, in the past, we've heard of people buying likes and buying views on Facebook and YouTube respectively, but this is just a whole new caliber of public relations, and it goes to show you how desperate these candidates are, that they now have to buy fake supporters. It's absolutely hilarious. But again, it should also be equally empowering to show that we are winning this fight. So anyway, this has been Andrew Demeter of Teen Take, Peace, love, and liberty, signing out.